So we picked up the new boat on Saturday. So we got the Red Beard crew together and we had it out on Sunday to try to jig up some walleyes. Hope you guys enjoy this show. First fish in the new boat. Andy broke it in. What'd you catch on Andy? Uh, chartreuse and orange jig head with a fat head. Perfect. Get her back. Alright, Bud's in the boat. What'd you catch this one on, Bud? and I'll just show it to you. A little chartreuse white, a little orange dot, fat head metal. Nice simple approach. Just vertical jig and bouncing it off bottom. That's all you got to do out here on the Fox River. Nice work bud. Back to the basics folks, chartreuse jig with a minnow, just vertical jigging, that's what the Fox River can produce right here. Alright, hopefully I catch more, talk to you guys later. Are we at there, number five? Five is a group, yeah. Hi, bud. Chartreuse and orange. Perfect. Jig head and minnow. Pretty simple. Number seven for the boat today. So after about two hours of jigging the spot right below the dam, we started getting a lot of boat traffic around us and the bite slowed down a lot. So we had to go down to this place we call the flats and I can normally get a pretty decent trolling bite of all the fish coming through there and they kind of disperse around and they just sit there and feed. By the time we got there though, there was a lot more ice floating around in there than I thought there would be. And then uh, the spot we normally troll through, the deeper area, there's probably two dozen boats in there jigging. So you can't troll through there if they're jigging. I mean, they're, they're literally 15 feet apart from each other. So we trolled the other spot, and this is how we did. Oh, I didn't record any of that. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know you had to hit the record button twice. <laughs> That's fine. You okay? Well, folks, we made a change from jigging by the dam to trolling the flats over here on the river. Bud missed one on the middle board over here. There's Captain Bud trying to direct us around the ice chunks here. Oh, that's 
that's what we're going through. So we'll see what happens. Well, that didn't go as planned. Um, we might have had one hit on the flag right when we first set up, but at the same time, I could have hit an ice chunk on the crankbait and I just popped the flag a little bit. But eh, it didn't go as planned, so we went and found another quiet spot away from some boat traffic and we started jigging again. This is how we did. All right, Andy put another one in the boat. Running the trolling motor, filming. Oh, now Andy wants me to take a picture. Sure. Gee. Then these guys are going to get mad at me when I have the boat's out of control. I like it when it's out of control. I can actually catch fish then. What are you doing over there, Andy? You should be a pro at unhooking fish by now. That's a nice one. Beautiful. I already took two. I didn't know you were taking it. Twenty-two. Come on. Nice Fox River female. Playing the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Jigging a minnow. Almost lost my rod, but. Miami rod? I got you. It's just a snag. Want to take a picture, Andy? Eric, hold it up. Nice. Jigging and bueno. Orange and uh, orange has been the ticket right now. Yeah. Started with chartreuse. Moved over to orange. Uh, I gotta take care of my ride. So we came to the conclusion today that the bite that we were on was a real slow bite. All of our fish came from just slowly dragging a jig either back to the boat or as we were drifting with the current, we just let that jig just drag on bottom. 
You could feel the ripples, and every time it went up and down the ripples when they were hitting it. Um, some other guys, I mean, it looked like they were casting plastics. Um, whether or not they were doing good with it, I don't know. Um, but we didn't have a single thing on a plastic. Everything we had was jig and a uh, live minnow. Um, we did the crankbaits for a while, we didn't get nothing. Um, so what we can say is it was just a slow, methodical bite. Um, but, I mean, it's the Fox River. I mean, you can go down there and do so many different things this time of year. There's so many fish in the river that, you know, there's days where you can go out there, You can some guys are catching 90 to 100 fish. Um, normally, if I go down there by myself and if I catch a handful, I mean, that's a good day for me. Um, we caught around probably about 20 fish on this trip when we were out from, we started fishing probably around seven, quarter after seven. I think we left at three. Um, we did miss quite a few fish too. They were hitting short. Um, Eric and Andy were, they started fishing with a half minnow just trying to prevent that. Um, I had a couple of my minnows that pretty much got bit in half. So if I was running a half minnow, I probably would have caught a few more fish myself. Um, but yeah, all in all, I mean, it was a good day. Boat worked out good. We broke it in real nice. Um, got some fish slime on the carpet. What more can you ask for? See you guys later.